Good evening and welcome to Your Move. Tonight on BBC Television, we're inviting you to take part in a highly experimental programme, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. We're attempting to link computers and telephone lines all over the country so that you can join us here at Television Centre for a live chess match against Grandmaster Jonathan Spielman. I'm here to explain how the game works and I'm joined by international master and chess writer William Hartston. Tonight, you can become the first chess players ever to take part in a live interactive chess match. Well, Jonathan Spielman, I do apologise for my voice. There's nothing I can do about it. It's the relic of a sore throat. <clears throat> but I'm as ill as I sound. Well, Jonathan Spielman will become the first Grandmaster ever to take on an entire live television audience. It's a match that will make chess and television history, and we hope that chess players all over the country will take part. I'm here to implement the moves that you will be suggesting. In general, I'll select the majority move unless I see a very good reason not to. I'll also, I hope, be offering some guidance and advice as the game goes along. And I'll be doing that using graphics driven by this new wizard electronic display operated by a perfectly normal human finger, which will, as the game goes on, explain as best I can what is going on in Spielman's brain with arrows and squares and all sorts of things. Absolutely wondrous toy. Anyway, we'll be playing with that later. Um, I'll never even need to disturb the pieces. You will always see the current state of play on the board with a few arrows and other lights on. After that, really, it's just up to you. Now Rob will explain how the game really works. Each time Jonathan Spielman makes a move, you'll be able to dial in your reply using special telephone chess notation. Now, if you look at this chessboard, by reading the numbers for the files and then the ranks, you'll be able to identify each square by using numbers only. It's really very straightforward. Let me show you what I mean. This is a chessboard showing you exactly how the telephone notation works. Each square is identified by coordinates from the horizontal and then the vertical axes. You describe the move you want to make first by identifying the square from which you want to move and then by identifying the square to which you want to move. And don't worry yet about things like castling, on pass on captures or even resignation. I'll explain all those when we come to them. And in case you are wondering why there seem to be nines on this board, where it would seem to be logical to have ones in the notation, well, I was wondering that too. We asked British Telecom. They said they're unable to let us use the number one for technical reasons. So suppose you decide to make the move from 9-2 to 9-3. As quickly as possible, dial the special chess line number, which is 0898 99 11 19. And wait a moment, and this is what you should hear. Not Welcome to BBC Telechess. Please dial zero. Dial zero. Please make your move. So I want to move from 9-2 to 9-3. Thanks for calling. And hang up the phone, and that's really all there is to it, except that if you happen to be the first person to suggest the move we use and would like to be featured on the programme, we'll also ask you to leave your name and telephone number, including the dialing code. And if you're the first person to suggest what John Spielman considers at the end of the game to have been the best move that was played against him, then he will award you this special prize. It's a Mephisto Monte Carlo chess computer with twin display system. This sophisticated computer can guide and advise you while you play and keep a check on the time for you as well. Win it and perhaps you could become the next grandmaster to take on a live television audience. So to recap, each time Spielman makes a move, all you have to do is dial 0898 99 11 19 and register your reply. The calls will cost about 10p each and should last roughly 15 seconds. But a word of warning though, you don't have long to make your move and if you want to be the first, you must start dialing as quickly as possible. And don't worry if you haven't got the hang of it, you will as the game goes on. Whether you have or not, there is only one way to find out and that's to get the game going. Grandmaster, World Championship semi-finalist Jonathan Spielman is now with us in the cage behind me, anxiously waiting to reply to your first move. You will play with the white pieces and will now give you a minute or so in which to dial in your first move. 
So call in now. There's the number, 0898 99 11 19 in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And don't forget, please, to leave your name and telephone number if asked. If uh, you do experience any difficulty, you can turn to CFAX, page 628, or look at this week's Radio Times on page 13 for more information about how to play the game. Oh. So, very best of luck. We've, got a, we've already got a lot of moves coming in. We've got a computer analysing the replies and giving me a percentage score. We've got a lot of people accepting Rob's suggestion of 9-2 to 9-3, the pawn up here. I wouldn't take that too seriously. 5-2, 5-4 is leading at the moment. We'll give our, our viewers 30 seconds to play this move now, Bill. There we have our special Your Move clock. The music is a specially commissioned composition. We've got a very clear leader emerging. 5-2, five, 5-4, five, the most popular opening move of all, the King's Pawn. 34% voting for that. 17% for 2-4-4. Four, four, four. 5-2, five, 5-4 five, is the move we will play. 34% voted for that. Twice as many as the next highest move, which was the neighbouring pawn. So. And congratulations to Damien Stewart, who has successfully made the first ever interactive chess move. Damien, congratulations to you. Quick on the dial. I wouldn't expect John to think very long about his reply here. He's had this position zillions of times before. That's the most aggressive reply. That's called the Sicilian defense. Really aggressive counterattack the reputation of being that. <laughs> so dial in your moves whenever you like. Getting some already. Vast. I, I have the top six moves always being listed on the computer screen in front of me. And it really is a bewildering variety. Seven, nine, six, three. A leader has emerged, which is bringing the knight out. It's clearly the favourite at the moment, 24%. 18% for a quiet pawn advance. I'm going to take this move, 7963. Uh, in the early stages of the game, I will be taking moves very early just to keep the game going. If a very clear leader emerges early on, we'll move the game ahead as fast as possible. So I'll do that now with 7963, the knight coming out. The normal move in this position, the knight coming out to add its support to this centre square. Good. And the first caller to call in with that particular move was Michael Bryan, who uh, is playing from his home in Leeds. Thank you, Michael, for calling in. So once again, this is perfectly normal play. And John has replied with this pawn move. So the, the Sicilian defence is something that's had hundreds of books written on it. Do phone in your moves whenever you like while I'm prattling. <laughs> um, it has many different variations which all have their names. We don't know which one we're going to get yet. The normal book move here is to advance the pawn up, offer an exchange of centre pawns, but Playing against someone like Spielman, there may be an advantage in not playing book moves. Though that is not what most of you seem to think. Because we have 61%. Maybe with your opening books on your knees, don't trust chess opening books. Just 30 seconds left. We have a clear leader. 4244. That's going to be the move. It's 54%. There's 6% is the 
is in second place, 56%. It's even rising. 4244 four is the move, the standard move in that position. White advancing the pawn, trying to exchange black's pawn in the center. Now Spielman, I imagine, will take this pawn. It's the normal move. There is an alternative to, to bring the knight out. Less often seen. John Spielman's a sort of player who likes really unusual positions. He doesn't usually play recognized opening theory for very long. He has his own favorite variations. Chris, somebody, suggested the last move from somewhere, presumably, in the country. So it's now up to John to make his reply. John, your move. Uh, as usual, John plays the least likely move in the position, <laughs> bringing the knight out. The knight coming to attack this pawn, bringing the knight out instead of playing the move that's almost universal to capture. He is trying to get you to think. So get dialing 0898 99 11 19. And do please leave your name and number if you ask to do so, because of course if your move is voted by John Spielman as being the best move of the evening, then you win our computer. If your move is chosen you haven't left your name, then bad luck. <laughs>